Hi, my name is Henry Pressman, and I'm your senior class vice president. And I'm here to introduce our keynote speaker, Mr. Andrew Oak. Andrew Oak is a Rockville High School grad and the nation's foremost expert on first ladies. At Rockville, our first lady is Mrs. Benson. And for many of us, including myself, our own first ladies are our mothers. Mr. Oak was inspired by his own mother and her interest in politics to start studying history and the first ladies, leading him to his place as an award-winning multimedia producer who has traveled the country documenting the stories of our first ladies. In his exploration of the first ladies of the United States, Mr. Oak has explored how these incredible women were so much more than just the president's wives. He has looked at who these women were before their first ladyship and how they, these powerful women have used their platforms to do great things. For example, Eleanor Roosevelt was the driving force behind the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, make, making a powerful and important difference internationally. Also, Michelle Obama was able to use her platform to pass and expand the school lunch program, which has brought free and reduced price meals to those in need and has made existing lunches significantly healthier. A sad side note about this, this did result in the death of the cheese dipper, but other than that, it was an important national development. These women can teach us valuable lessons about using our platforms to do good in the community and in the world. Even though, as young adults, we do not have the same huge platforms that these women do, each one of us has the power to create meaningful change in the world around us. Mr. Oak also reminds us that greatness is not achieved alone. His study highlights the importance of a support system and having people who stand beside, beside you and behind you in our journey to success. These women have been responsible for supporting our nation's presidents through the ages. Even the leaders of the free world rely on their partners to help them guide the country, and we are no different. Finding those who are willing and able to support us as we continue to grow after high school is crucial. This support will make sure we stay on the right track and will allow us to access all of our potential. Now, please welcome the First Ladies' Man, Mr. Andrew Oak. <laughs> Greetings, good morning, and congratulations, class of 2018. You made it. I would also like to thank and recognize the administration, the teachers, the friends, family, and guests here today, many of whom I enjoyed multiple years at Rockville High School when I sat where you sat in 1987, if you can believe that. Those that do know me can breathe easy. I'm not here to embarrass or incriminate anyone, least of all myself as you may have more dirt on me than I do on you. But this isn't about me, it's not about us. It's about you, it's about the class of 2018. So I ask you, what's your plan? What's your plan? Where are you going? College? Holler it out, where are you going? Towson, Maryland, great, I'm a Maryland grad. Think of this as a graduation conversation not a graduation speech. Military, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, taking over your family business, starting a business of your own. What happens when life changes your plan? Life will change your plan, and that's not a bad thing. I call myself the First Lady's Man because I went to every home, library, church, school, plantation farm, birthplace cemetery, train station, and general store that related to every first lady, Martha Washington, through now Melania Trump. Thank you. <laughs> the interesting thing about these first ladies is that being a first lady was never part of their plan. When they sat where you sit today, graduating from high school, being homeschooled, about to be married, about to move on with life, they could not have planned to be first lady. 
First lady isn't a job that you can apply to. You can't be elected first lady. There's no first ladies 101 or majoring in first ladies. Life experience is their training. And they happen to marry someone who happened to run and win the presidency. And now they shape our hairstyles, our hemlines, what we eat in school, how we raise our children. They are ambassadors to the world for America. They are the most powerful and influential, unelected and unpaid women in the world. And they never planned. Yeah, give them a round of applause. Now, you still need a plan. I'm not saying a plan is a bad idea. You gotta start somewhere. I would argue that at this point, you haven't created a plan, you've created a foundation. With the help of these administrators, these teachers, these staff, these parents, these friends, you have had one of the best opportunities to create a foundation for success that exists in the world. And that's by going to Rockville High School outside of Washington, D.C., in the great state of Maryland. So give all of yourselves another round of applause. You now have that foundation for success. You now have a plan. But what happens when the plan doesn't work out? You have a backup. What happens when the backup fails you? I got it on my phone. My phone's out of batteries. Keep an eye on me, Mr. Riggs, we're going off script. Where are my O's? Last name O, raise your hand. Last name O, you don't know your names? Oh, there's one? And down there, okay, it's tough to see you guys up here. All right, that's where I was sitting in 1987. I never planned to be the first ladies man. I couldn't have. When I went to University of Maryland and majored in radio, television, and film, I was training to make videos for my band. I did. It was cool. Did some touring, played some fun clubs. In fact, last time I was here, I was sitting about there at a Foo Fighters concert. I went into TV. TV got me to C-SPAN. C-SPAN was the series that I did, Image and Influence. When I did the series, I didn't plan on public speaking about it. I didn't plan on writing a book. I certainly didn't write a plan on writing two books. I could not have foreseen in a million years that I would be here delivering a commencement speech to my former high school. I wasn't a bad student but I didn't sit on the stage. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> life will throw you curveballs. You've been planning your entire life. Your parents have plans for you. These teachers, these administrators, they all have plans for you. Everyone has plans for you. You have plans for yourself. It's okay when they change. It's a good thing. I'm living proof. I'm standing here where I never imagined myself. When I was named your speaker, I was given some bad information, some bad news based on social media and all the people that were reaching out and congratulating me. Almost none of them could name their graduation speaker. And even fewer of them could tell you anything that they said. So I'm gonna keep it simple, life will change. And when it does, you will not remember my name. You might remember, oh, that first lady's guy or something or other. I think he went to our high school. Maybe, maybe not. But you'll be ready for that change because you have the foundation to turn that change into a positive. And no matter what life throws at you, 
You are ready for that change. You're ready to adapt. Adapting to change creates success. The success that is built on the foundation that you have created here. So take your plans, take your thoughts, your dreams, your creations, and know 2018 that you are the future. You are my future. You are building my future world. I want to stay in touch. I want to get to know you. I want to see what change you bring to the world. I want to see how you adapt and orchestrate and organically create your life and the world around you through change. All the best plans change. You hold the keys to the future. I thank you for allowing me to be here to speak to you today. I'm a very, very happy man to see you all today. I wish you all the very, very best. Congratulations and be ready for change.